something that'll make a nigga beg please When a bullet went by, I probably feel a little breeze Drop to your knees, I see the big barrel of the chrome fifth Rubber grip, handle for the squeeze I keep a couple of those for the niggas who talk shit When I go to Jacob and I got that brain If you try to see me, I'ma hop that thing I'ma hop that thing, you know the shots gon' stain Really? The nigga ride inside the truck with me hey. For the most part, the nigga stuck with me hey. I tell you something, if you really was smart And you knew better, people probably tell you Don't fuck with me Front. If you want, motherfucker, you can catch it Smile on my face, even though I got a ratchet Alright guys, today we're gonna be unlocking the um, iPhone 3G from firmware 3.0.1 so yeah we're gonna be using Red Snow 0.8 and I'll have all the links in the description of the stuff you need to download but I'm just gonna show, go ahead and show you what you need to do so pull up internet it would load there we go alright so just pull up the internet and see this but hope the internet and you should want to type in www.felixburns.de slash ipod slash firmware all right you're going to get a page that looks somewhat like this um now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this bottom drop down bar okay i'll have all these links in the description as well Go to the bottom drop down bar and scroll down until you see the words iPhone 3G parentheses 3.0. Okay? So you just click that and then you click download. And you'll come up with this thing you want to click save file. Don't open it. And since I've already done that, I'm just going to cancel it. So you should see this right here. Okay? And then now close out of close out of Firefox or whatever you're using and go to where you downloaded Red Snow, which I'll show you, I'll show you how to do that too. Um, you just type in, I have a bookmark, actually no I don't, okay so, just type Red Snow, and um, I'm gonna have these links, so you don't really have to type that in, you can just click on the sidebar over there, I wait for this to load. And just scroll down. Depending on if you're using Mac or Linux or Windows, you download whichever torrent. Um, I have Windows, so I downloaded this one. Zero, you make sure you have 0 0.8. Don't use anything other than 0 0.8 for this because that's what my guide is on. Alright, so once you've downloaded that, go to where you downloaded it to. Then go to your file. You're going to just double click on Red Snow, okay? And it'll probably ask you to run if you have Vista or Windows 7. Just click run, er, accept everything that comes up. You're just gonna click, click on browse, locate the file you downloaded. Okay, it should look like this. It should say iPhone 1, 2 underscore 3.0 underscore 7A341 underscore restore. So that is the firmware file you need for the second gen iPhone, or yeah, second gen iPhone 3G 3.0. Make sure you get that file. It can't be any other or else it'll mess up. So, open that, and wait for a second, it'll say processing firmware, and it'll say IPSW successfully identified, okay? Now you're going to want to get ready to grab your iPhone, you're going to hit next, it's going to be patching kernel, preparing jailbreak data, whatever. Um, yeah. And now it's going to say, please select which options you would like to have, and you can choose install Cydia or IC. I recommend that you always have IC, but you can, I mean, I reckon you always have Cydia, but you can also install IC if you choose. IC is pretty much just a faster, lighter version of Cydia, but it does have some downsides, whatever, you can look at those later. I'm just going to install Cydia for the use of this tutorial. Okay, now read this. It says, please make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer, okay? So, make sure your iPod is, or iPhone is plugged in. And it's going to come back on if you'd already turned it off. Once you plug it in, it's going to come back on. That's why it needs to be plugged in and then turned off. I should have told you that earlier. Okay, so it just vibrates there. I'm going to type all this crap in. Alright, so once you have this, make sure it's plugged in. It has to be plugged in. Hold the power button. Slide to power off. And make sure it is completely shut down all the way. It's going to have this little waiting icon right there. Wait for it to go completely. Alright, looks like it's done. Alright, so now that it's completely shut off and plugged in, it's very important. Now you're just going to click next. 
and hold down the power button for three seconds or however long. Now without releasing the power button, hold down the home button. So you're holding both of the buttons on the iPhone at the same time. You're holding down both of them. So wait for that to finish and then release the power button without releasing the home button and hold it down for 25 seconds or whatever it asks you to do. So this is going to be putting it in DFU mode, which allows you to upload the jailbreak data to your com to your iPhone. It's going to be saying waiting for reboot. Just keep holding the home button. It's going to wait for a second. All right, now your screen will turn white. And and the signal start up uploading the data. Alright, now when you see that picture, you can release the home button. Um, it's going to say downloading jailbreak data to your iPhone. And in, on the computer, it's going to say uploading to RAM disk. You can just set your iPhone down right now. It's just going to be uploading stuff to the RAM disk. That's what it's saying. And this is just going to take a short while. And after the computer part is done, it's going to say, you know, completed. But that does not mean your jailbreak is done. So don't think it's done after that. It's just going to be done with the computer part, and it's just going to have to finish up on the actual iPhone itself. So, the second it's going to ask you to click finish, and you can just click finish. It doesn't really matter at this point what you do to the computer after it's done with the red snow part. So, it's going to say done right there. See, your computer says done, and you can just go. Sorry, my computer's monitor is really bad. You can just go ahead and just click finish, and you're done with the computer part. But I would not unplug it, I would not mess with it at all. It's now it's now that um that little icon is gone and it's gonna have this little, you know, bitten out pineapple icon that everyone has seen saying flashing in OR and this progress bar is just gonna be going across and this is pretty much it. Like this is you're almost done right now. This is the last part it has to do, so in a second, um, I'll come back when this is done, and I'll show you what to do with your newly jailbroken iPhone. Alright, so jailbreak, I believe, is finished. Okay, so you turn your phone on, you unlock it, and, and you've got all your apps still. That's the good thing, and here's Cydia. Right there, Cydia. Focusing. So that's the good thing about jailbreaking the iPhone is like this, like this method, you don't have to restore it so you don't lose anything. Like you still have all your apps, you still have everything. So and now you can you know do whatever you want with your jailbreaking iPod. I do recommend you going into Cydia and downloading Winterboard or a theme, adding some important sources like Hacula, maybe getting Instalus, um, just different things. And um, the first time you open up Cydia, it's going to say, like, reorganizing will automatically close when done. So that's what you got to do the first time you open Cydia. Don't think it's, like, broken or anything. But, yeah, um, you've got a hacked iPhone now, so play with it and enjoy it. Thanks, guys. All right, and um, just one more thing, guys, so you know, is definitely at... 3.1, um, show you go to version, I took a screenshot so I could zoom in because my camera doesn't focus very well, version 3.017A40, so it's definitely at 3.1, so, it's definitely just does jailbreak to 3.01, so, yeah, you're good with that, alright, bye guys.